Hello everyone. Today our problem is to evaluate the square root of a complex number. So let us see that how do we do it. First we assume that the square root of the given complex number minus 5 plus 12 i is equal to x plus i y where both x and y are real numbers. Now we square both the sides to get minus 5 plus 12 i as equal to x square plus 2xy into y plus y square i square and we know that i square is equal to minus 1. So the expression becomes minus 5 plus 12i is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy i. Now in this equation we compare the real part and the imaginary part separately. The real part on the right hand side is x square minus y square and on the left hand side is minus 5. So x square minus y square becomes equal to minus 5. This is our first equation and the imaginary part on the right hand side is 2xy. The imaginary part on the left hand side is 12. So 2xy becomes equal to 12 or xy becomes equal to 6 or y can be expressed as equal to 6 by x. This we tell as second equation. Now we are having two unknowns x and y and two equations. So we evaluate the values of x and y to get our solution. Now considering the first equation and putting the value of y from the second equation, we get x square minus 6 by x whole square is equal to minus 5 which becomes x square minus 36 by x square is equal to minus 5 multiplying by x square we get x raised to the power 4 minus 36 is equal to minus 5 x square and after rearranging we get x raised to the power 4 plus 5 x square minus 36 is equal to 0 and this can be factorized as x raised to the power 4 plus 9 x square minus 4 x square minus 36 is equal to 0. We take common x square from the first two terms and minus 4 from the last two terms and the resulting expression becomes x square into x square plus 9 minus 4 into x square plus 9 is equal to 0. Again we take common x square plus 9 and the expression becomes x square plus 9 into x square minus 4 is equal to 0. We get two values of x square that is x square is equal to minus 9 and x, is equa x square is equal to 4. Since we have already told, we have already assumed that x is a real number, so x square cannot be equal to minus 9. So this value is discarded and we consider only one value that is x square is equal to 4. From here we get the values of x as equal to plus minus 2 and applying equation 2 we get y values as equal to plus minus 3. When we observe equation 2, the sign of both the sides is same. That means x and y both should have same signs. Now we go to the original assumption that is square root of minus 5 plus 12 i is equal to x plus y, i y. Now we put x is equal to plus 2 and y is equal to plus 3. Both the values should have the same sign. Minus 5 plus 12 i square root becomes equal to 2 plus 3 i and when we put x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 3, the square root becomes equal to minus 2 minus 3i or it can be simply expressed as root of minus 5 plus 12i is equal to plus minus 2 plus 3i. Thanks for watching.